So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the New Balance 990 V3 Teddy Santas in the Moonbeam colorway. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hopefully this comparison helps you. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another comparison video for you between two pairs of New Balance. This is the 990 V3 Teddy Santas in the Moonbeam colorway. It's a nice colorway and this is a fake pair on my left, real pair on my right. And this video is just to help you if you are trying to authenticate your pair and purchase a retail pair at home. So let's get straight into the comparison. The first difference, the two boxes. So these are both a US 9.5, both a UK 9, so they should be the same. However, the boxes are very different. So I'll show you from above. So as you can see from above, the retail box is much larger than the fake box. Also, I would say the kind of orangey creamy color on top is a darker color on the fake box compared to the retail box. And the overall sizing is very clear to see if you show from above. Then we'll spin the boxes around and take a closer look at the labels. So as you can see from the labels, the text is very different from retail to fake. Where it says M990 AD3, you can see that this text is different in sizing from retail to fake. You can also see that the spacing all over this label is very different from retail to fake. And I would say the overall label on the fake one is slightly smaller, but this could be because the box is also slightly smaller, so they've compromised with the label as well. But nobody really wants me to talk about the box for the entire video, so we'll open them up, take a close look at the shoes. Let's open up the retail one first. Open up the lid. Here you can see the paper covers the shoes perfectly. And the fake one, I would say the box is pretty damaged. It's like ripped in certain places as well, as you can see here. And it's just not as perfect as the retail one is. And New Balance is pretty well known for its quality and packaging as well when shipping. So we'll open this up. They do actually wrap the shoes in the paper as well, but if we compare the paper, we can see differences here. So if we look at the New Balance symbol on the top of both of these papers, you can see that on the retail one, it's slightly more creamy yellow compared to the fake one, which just looks a little bit more like mustard colored compared to the retail one. I would also say that the fake one is a little bit more transparent in paper compared to the retail one, but it's quite small differences between the two. And if you look at the New Balance text on the top, it's actually more clear and easy to see on the retail paper compared to the fake one. But this is just paper at the end of the day. We just care about the shoes really when we open them up. So let's take off the paper and take out the shoes. So a key thing to note while opening up the boxes, the retail pair does come with this New Balance card as well, which has all the silhouettes on it. And then on the back, you can see more here. And then it also came with a set of spare laces tied in an elastic band, kind of creepy colored here. The fake one didn't come with any spare laces, so it's just something to note. So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the New Balance 990 V3 Teddy Santas in the Moonbeam colorway. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hopefully this comparison helps you. So the first difference we're gonna take a note of is the suede going around the toe box area. And if I give you a close up of this, you can see differences in the color between the two pairs. What I would say is the suede like material on the retail one is a lighter color compared to the fake one. The fake one is a little bit darker and looks a little bit dirty compared to the retail one. It also looks like it's kind of been worn, although I can promise you they haven't. These are both a dead stock pair, but the underside of the fake one is a little bit dirty as well on the tread. So it's a little bit weird. If we take a look at the tongue, you'll see it does have a label here which says optimal control. If I compare these side by side, you can see the positioning of this text is very different from retail to fake. As you can see on the retail one, it's, the text is positioned lower down on this label compared to the fake one, where you can see it's placed higher up and there's a slightly more of a larger gap at the bottom of the label. On the outer side of the shoe, you'll see it does have a text bubble right here, which says end cap. If I compare these side by side, we can see differences here. If you look at the text, you can see that the text is slightly more darker on the fake one compared to the retail one. You can see it's a pretty much a black text and it's much thinner and lower down on the fake one compared to the retail one. As you can see on the retail one, it's a navy color which matches the part of the sole and the tip is much thicker and placed in the middle of this lighter toned material. Also, if we take a look at the outer side of the shoe and look at this suede like material here, the creamy prominent color, we can see differences in this color between the retail and fake. If I show you from the close up, you can see a clear difference between the retail and fake. What I would say is on the retail one, it actually has a slightly more hint of yellow compared to the fake one. The fake one kind of has the same creamy tones going all over the shoe. Whereas on the retail one, there is actually a two toned effect between the back of the longer suede and the toe box compared to this middle suede here, which is cut a lot shorter. If we spin the shoes around to the back and take a closer look at the New Balance text on both of these heels here. So as you look from the close up, you can see that on the retail one, the New Balance text, the letters are placed closer together and are more cleanly colored in. 
compared to the fake one where you can see the spacing between the letters is much further apart and there are certain paint marks on the fake one where you can see it hasn't been colored in correctly. Taking a look at the back heel once again if we look at the top part of the heel here you will say it says made in the USA very subtly and very hard to see on the back heel but if we compare these from the close-up and I can shine a light on them so you can see it a little bit clearer you can see that the USA on the fake one is cut off a little bit compared to the retail one. On the retail one you can see it's placed above this material cut off and you can see most of the USA text whereas on the fake one you can see it cuts right through the USA text and it makes it a lot harder to read. So on the tongue once again you see it says New Balance USA on the tongue but we're looking at this grey material just beneath this. As you can see there's a pattern printed into this grey material here. What I would say is it's much more indented on the fake pair compared to the Rito one and it's very clear to see the indented lines on the fake one compared to the Rito one and the Rito one's a little bit more subtle so it's just something you need to note. Spinning both tongues upside down taking a closer look at the labels you can compare these side by side and from the close-up we can see clear differences. So from the close-up you can see how different the printing is on the retail to fake with the fake one being the text being much bolder and blacker compared to the Rito one where you can see it is slightly faded and I can promise you both of these are dead stock pairs so it should come a little bit faded compared to the fake one where you can see all the text is very clear to see and also the spacing so if you look at the sizing where it says nine and a half US and the UK 9, you can see this placed further to the right on the retail pair, whereas on the fake one, you can see these numbers are pushed further to the left on the border of the square. If we take a look at the inside of the shoe and we look at this gray suede-like material just here, we can see differences between the retail and fake. So if I show you from the close-up and you look at the stitching on both of these pairs, you can see on the retail one, the stitching comes really close together and almost touch, whereas on the fake one, you can see there's a wider path between the two stitching, so you can see they're spread further apart between the two pairs. Spinning the shoes upside down, and we look at the tread on both of these pairs, and we look towards the heel part. You can see at the back heel part here, it's kind of a black navy kind of color, and if we zoom in on both of these pairs, we can see from the close-up that the color varies between the retail and fake. As you can see, the fake one's a little bit darker compared to the retail one, the Rito one kind of looks like it has hints of paint of blue coming through with white hints as well, whereas the fake one kind of stays true to one color. So you can see there's a clear difference between the two treads. So now let's take a look at the right shoe here, and we can see that they come with attached labels. They actually come on both shoes, but I'm just going to take a look at the right one here. And I give you a close-up of the labels. You can see it's a clear color difference between the two, with the label of the Rito one being a slightly darker color compared to the fake one, where the lighter color underneath. Also, if you spin these upside down, take a look at the text of both of these, you can see clear differences and differences in the color of both of these once again. Let's take a look inside the shoe now. So the Rito one comes with a little bit of paper on the inside, and the fake one also comes with a little bit of paper on the inside. There is actually a slight color difference between the two papers, as you can probably see here from the close-up, but it's just paper at the end of the day. Now we'll take out the insole of both of these, the Rito one, and the fake one. What I would say is the fake one is a lot thicker than the Rito one. The Rito one bends a lot easier. And if we take a look at the close-up from above, we can see differences in the color. So as you can see from the color, the Rito one's a lot lighter on the top compared to the fake one. The fake one's a much darker insole color. And if you look at the placement of the text towards the heel, you can see it's very different from retail to fake, with the fake one being placed a lot higher and the Rito one placed being more back towards the heel. Spinning these upside down, take a look at the bottom side of the insoles. And we look towards the midfoot, you can see where it says the number 4774 and then JV15038. You can see this is much larger on the fake one compared to the Rito one. Other than that, they've pretty much got it almost identical with slight differences of indents of both of the texts with it being slightly more indented on the fake one compared to the Rito one. But are you really going to take the insole out if you're wearing them? And they probably will get a little bit squished after wearing them. But if you have a dead stock pair in hand, it is something you need to look for if you are authenticating your pair. But thank you for watching. That is the end of the comparison. And I hope it has helped you if you are trying to purchase an authentic pair. Because this pair is actually really, really nice. I really do like the colors that they've used on this. Really clean, very high quality. And if you're buying this, it's probably going to last you a few years because they're very well made. But let me know down below if you spot any more differences between the two pairs. And you can help someone else if they are trying to authenticate them. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps me do more videos just like this. It helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.